Let me show you a crazy MCAT trigonometry hack. So sometimes in the MCAT, you'll be told like sine of this equals this or cosine of this is this, but there are times where they don't tell you and you might need it in an equation, right? And you have to use your memory or your knowledge to figure it out. And you know, if you think back to trigonometry class, nobody remembers that whole square root of two over two thing or whatever. I don't even know if this is real, but I just, I don't remember either, right? So we're gonna use this trick. There's this band called the 1975, which I hope you all know. And essentially this is one, it's gonna be 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. You're gonna add a zero here as well. And I like to start with cosine right here, right? These are the values you're gonna get based on the degrees that we're gonna put over here. So let me elaborate real quick. Cosine, I start with cosine because you go zero to 90, right? So you go zero, 30, 45, 60, and 90. And then sine is just gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be 90 to zero. And it's just gonna be complementary to the cosines. And so like this, right? This just tells you that, you know, cosine of 45 will be 0.7 approximately, right? Or sine of 60 will be about 0.9. So you can use these when you're doing calculations. So to answer this right here, sine of 45, if we look over here, it's going to be about 0.7. And you can use this in your calculations.